Well, they can be delicious, but peanuts potentially can be deadly to some. Many deal with food allergies on a daily basis, and it can be tough. Dr. Alice Hoyt is here for our house call today. Obviously, peanuts might be the one that especially parents hear most about with kids, but what are some other right. common food allergies? So especially in children, we see peanut, tree nut, egg, cow's milk, also soy and wheat. In the older population, we see more shellfish and fish. And then in all ages, especially in these parts, we see the mammalian meat allergy, alpha-gal. All right, and do we know what causes food allergies? We don't, and that's <laughs> why we're doing lots of research to try to figure that out. We don't know what causes it. We think maybe too much hygiene might be associated with it, um, but at the end of the day, we're not sure. It can be frustrating. It's almost like a trial and error thing sometimes, and you just have to be prepared. It can be very frustrating, and, and that's why it's very important when patients do come to see us in clinic that we help patients sort out, was this an anaphylactic reaction they had to a food? Is it a non-anaphylactic food allergy, or is it a food intolerance, like lactose intolerance? Right, so when do these present themselves? Is it it's a great question. A lot of times food allergies present in childhood, but some food allergies, especially those shellfish allergies, they present a little bit later, and then alpha-gal can present sort of at any point. Um, we do see alpha-gal is, is the tick bite associated food allergy that about two months after the tick bite is when you start having the symptoms. Wow, so what happens, let's say you're out somewhere and you're not aware of something and your child starts to have one of these reactions? That, that, that's an excellent question. A question I get asked constantly is, what do you do if you see anaphylaxis? You do two things. First, you give epinephrine. Epinephrine from an auto injector like an EpiPen, like the AlviQ, incredibly safe. You inject it into the upper outer thigh and it, the safety profile is fantastic. The second thing you do is you get help. And there's a study going on at UVA. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so my study is in particular looking at children under the age of three who do have food allergy, um, but we are also enrolling children without food allergy. And we're just trying to figure out what are some things that are going on in early childhood that could be contributing to this. All right, Dr. Hoyt, appreciate your Thank time tonight. You. Thank you. Merry Sharon, Christmas. You too. All right. Thank you. Steve, Dr. Hoyt, thank you.